right by actually it's, it can be termed as an incident of mob lynching so coming from india i am very <coughs> aware of this situation because it is something which we are experiencing we can say on a daily basis people are being lynched on a broad day on in, in broad daylight people's democratic rights are being curtailed in students politics there is no space for dissent left in this country and it's very similar to what has been happening in bangladesh it's the ruling party it's students forefront which carried out you know this murder of the student here in india as well you can find parallel the students organization of the ruling party it does the same two years back in jnu a student called najib ahmed he went missing and he is still missing and there is no word of utterance there is no specific comment being made by anyone from the ruling party by the government regarding this we have seen how violence has unfolded in the campuses across india say it's not limited to delhi you can find the same in kolkata you can find the same in happening in pondicherry you can see you can find the same happening in punjab university so this kind of politics of violence is something which we need to condemn and it's 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 a great opportunity that i can find cases from all the countries of south asia i can find people from pakistan from india of course from bangladesh from sri lanka and this is what we mean we should mean by south asian sensibility we must be sensible to whatever injustice is happening in any part of south asia and as students of south asian university it must be our responsibility to condemn this and also to speak truth to the power with this i and my no thank thank you to